Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a brush jig and it's going to be in a pattern that I call murder craw because it's absolutely going to get murdered. It's very seldom when I'm uh, developing new patterns that I get uh, really excited to fish one, you know, to the point where I want the conditions perfect to just go out and throw this to see uh, how well it does. But, you know, um, I've been getting a lot of stuff from Barlow's and I'm playing around with different things. And uh, I think you'll like this when I'm done with it. So anyway, in the vise, we have a 3 8 ounce brush jig. We got a 4 aught. Uh, Eagle Claw 786 hook. The color is the Barlow's vein paint, the uh, orange with black vein. But as you can see, it's clearly brown, which is perfect for craw patterns. It, I love it. So we're going to start here with some... Two tendon air flat wax nylon thread in brown. Let me just get a little bit of a base started. Trim it off. Yeah, I, I think you guys are going to like this. I know I, I'm really into it. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been messing around with a lot of different things and this is one that, uh, a new pattern that um, I'm probably going to make a lot of these just for the simple fact I think it's going to be good no matter what. So anyway, we're taking a full tab and I cut it in half to uh, tie it in. But it's this, it's called um, Crawdad Orange with Orange Glitter and Pepper, uh, which is black glitter. I think it's an awesome color already just just that material and it took me a while to get it because it was it was always sold out so I just put two wraps there just enough to hold it but it allows me to adjust it So we get a good length. You always want to go with a little bit longer length than you do shorter on that back end. Now we're going to flip it over and do the same thing here. Put the other half. Sometimes these brush jigs get finicky, like when you're putting a when you're putting your skirt material on it, uh, with the way the head is, you absolutely have to watch. Otherwise, you'll get them all tangled up if you're trying to keep them separated. Like if you're putting two different colors there, um, you could cause yourself a little bit of issue. And see, that's what happened here. I have to move some of that material over because it slipped down on me. And I just want to make sure that that base of silicone is pretty even. It 
Doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want no gaps. I should say any gaps. My grammar is horrible. Okay. Now, just like I, I said in an earlier video, one of the things I want to do is use a lot more rubber. And this is brown with orange stripes. I'm really liking this stuff. And I already cut it to about the same length as uh, the silicone. That's pretty good. I'm going to rotate it. The same thing. And these are wide enough, these ta um, I, tabs, it ain't tabs, on a roll. Um, the width on uh, this material goes completely around your collar. So it's a... It's not hard to line it up. That's trying to find the right words, but um, I need a thesaurus or a dictionary around with me all the time. And now it's just, you want to make sure you're pretty tight. That looks pretty good. Pattern's easy. It's uh, just making sure you get it tied in good. That's all. Two, three, four, five, six. Cinch it. Same thing. I'm only going to put four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of water-based head cement on here. That's good. We don't need much. Now, we're going to pull our uh, rubber. And slowly cut.
This is the hardest part I have with living rubber. Is getting them separated. Now we'll cut our silicone. And I don't have to pull the silicone tight to, uh, to get it to separate. I'm just pulling it like that to get it away from the rubber so I don't uh, cut stuff I'm not supposed to be cutting. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my skirt here, make sure the length is good. Okay, now I'm going to add my weed guard, a little bit of super glue gel, and we got our brown and orange multi color weed guard. I never thought about, you know, adding colored weed guards as, you know, to add to your overall jig. But uh, I got to admit, it's pretty nice. There is what we have so far. But now we're going to add a trailer. And this is something I found uh, going through Barlow's uh website i was messing you know just looking through things uh that i normally don't look at and here what they had was um the big bite baits yo mama and this is the uh three and a quarter and i absolutely love these things um i fish them on swing heads a lot uh they don't have a, a great deal of action, but it's the profile. And these smaller ones, when you have a, a jig like this, the tray it, it's great as a trailer. And this is a cross swirl, I think, is the name of the color. But This rubber always. Gets tangled on me when I'm trying to get it situated. Oh, looks like I might have. 
There we go. Some of them don't separate all the way to the, the end. I apologize for that. But anyway, check that bad boy out. Tell me you don't like that. Murder Craw. With a, a little bit of silicone and some brown and orange uh, round rubber. Oh yeah. All day long. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hey. Yeah.